Link list and array list are two Java classes that are often used for storing and managing data in your programs. But what's the difference between them and when should you use one over the other? Well, array list and link list are like two sides of a coin. They both provide efficient ways to manage lists in Java, but they have their own strengths and weaknesses. Array list is like well, a high speed train, it provides efficient random access to its elements, but it can't easily change tracks. A linked list is like a city bus. It can make stops and changes along the way, but it might not be the fastest option. So let's start by taking a closer look at linked list. Linked list uses a linked list data structure to store its elements. And that means that each element in a linked list is represented by a node, which contains the element itself and a reference to the next node in the list. As you can see, the linked list class provides methods like add and remove to insert and delete elements in the list. Because of the linked list data structure, these operations can be performed quickly and efficiently, even for very large lists. Another key characteristic of linked list is that it has a dynamic size, which means it can grow or shrink as needed to accommodate new or removed elements. And this makes it a good choice for applications that require the ability to insert or delete elements frequently. And then finally, because linked lists use nodes to store its elements, it can be a bit more memory intensive than other collections. Each node requires additional memory to store its reference to the next node. So a linked list with many elements will use more memory than an array list with the same elements. But speaking of array list, well, what is that? As you might've guessed from the name, array list uses an array a data structure to store its elements. And that means that the elements in an array list are stored contiguously in memory at consecutive indices in the array. As you can see, the array list class provides similar methods to linked list. However, because of the array data structure, these operations are not as efficient as they are in linked list. In particular, inserting or deleting an element in the middle of an array list requires shifting all the subsequent elements in the array, which can be slow for large lists. Array list provides fast access to individual elements because they are stored contiguously in memory, which means you can access any element in an array list quickly by using its index in the array. And that can be very useful if you need to look up or update specific elements in the list frequently. Now, here's an example of inserting an element in both array list and link list. And as you can see, the add method in both array list and link list allows you to insert an element at the specific index in the list. Now, however, there is a performance of this operation that we need to consider, and it can be different depending upon the data structure used by the list. So in the case of array list, inserting an element at the beginning or the end of the list is pretty efficient because it only requires shifting the subsequent elements by one index. However, inserting an element in the middle of the list can be slow because it requires shifting all these subsequent elements by one index, which can be time consuming if your list is quite large. In the case of linked list, inserting an element at any position in the list is efficient because it only requires changing the reference of the adjacent nodes in the linked list. This makes linked list a better choice than array list if you need to insert elements frequently at arbitrary positions in the list. Now, in addition to the add method, which we've seen plenty of, both array list and linked list provide other useful methods for managing their elements. There's size to get the size of the list, get to retrieve an element, remove, and then contains to query if the list contains a specific element. Now, suppose you're writing a program to manage a to-do list. The to-do list has two main components. It has a list of the tasks that are currently active and a list of tasks that have been completed. Now, the active tasks need to be accessible by their index so they can be marked as completed. And the completed tasks need to be accessible by their position in the list so that you can display them in the order in which they were completed. So what do we use for this list? Well, in this case, you could use an array list for the active tasks and a linked list for the completed tasks. We use the array list for the active tasks because we need to access them by their index. And we use a linked list for the completed tasks because we need to add new tasks to the beginning of the list and access them in the order in which they were completed. Overall, linked list is a good choice when you need to insert or delete elements frequently and don't need fast access to individual elements. Whereas array list is a good choice when you need fast access to individual elements and don't need to insert or delete elements frequently. A high-speed train or versatile city bus?
the choice is yours.